Hello, I'm Andrew from the Netherlands and today I'm going to review the Kenwood KR6050 high speed receiver. As you can see it has the same white, let me zoom in, white and narrow band and as I explained earlier with my other review from the 7050 this is only if there is a very small station here and next to a very big one it is almost impossible to receive that small station when you click this narrow button in you can receive that smaller station like it is a big station so that's a very nice option and well it works fine for the 7015 and I didn't test it out on this one but I think it well, it will work the same way as it did in the 7050 and this option is very nice especially if you are a tuner lover like I am um, the reason why I don't keep this thing is that I love the sound I love the sound really it isn't that good as the 7050 but good enough it is a little bit more boomy than the 7050 when you play this thing on neutral so no loudness the sound is very good when you push the loudness on it is too boomy and that I didn't have that problem with the 7050 the 7050 played also nice with the loudness on okay that's the only difference um, well it has the A and B tape stereo muting on off it has the volume button it has balance high filter a sub filter treble and the bass and of course the this is how it goes on and off power off phones yes if you want to only listen to the phones or speaker a b L, or a and b okay and uh, it miss one mid knob the 7050 have also the mid and also the turnover this thing don't have this options but it is still a very nice looking receiver and well 2 times 60 watt is more than enough and that's with 8 ohms and with my 4 ohm speakers I think this thing can push out 2 times 80 2 times 90 watt so this thing have more than enough power and for me well I just put it on the monster receivers because it looks like a monster yes and the 60 watt isn't really a monster but well it is more than enough for most speakers the 7050 I played with only two stripes well this thing maybe need one stripe more to play it in the evening that's the only difference so and here we have the inside of the Kenwood and as you can see the uh, travel is very nice covered with a black is it plastic? no it is metal piece very nice two big end caps 10,000 microfarad they are the same as in the 7050 and as you can see the tuner is a lot smaller and uh, I think this one has four ceramic filters but it have the narrow and wide filter and that's important it have the three same bulbs what powers up the 7050 so they look almost exactly the same very nice very nice inside it is dirty dust I won't clean it I leave that for the next owner and uh, well I cover it up and I will show you uh, the back as you can see the back is pretty simple yes for speaker connections so as you can see the back is very simple and uh, well, it looks almost the same as the uh, 7050 back no it is the same looking exactly the same let me see how much power this thing use wow is that true 450 watts of power oh that's not a very efficient travel back in this uh, receiver I don't like receivers who use too much power this is not nice and uh, here we have the selector switch for the right voltage and of course the normal selections 
and of course, and that's very important, a dedicated cable tuner connection and well, we have the VAM antenna, but well, who uses a AM antenna? I hardly hear AM because I don't like the noise of that uh, band. Anyway, let's go back to the front. This thing looks fantastic. It really looks shiny and I already cleaned it. You can see in my other video how to clean a Kenwood KR6050 and if you know how to clean a 6050 you also know how to clean a 7050 and 850. It's all the same. The, for the sound, well, I prefer the 7050. It's a better sound. It's not a bad sound but The loss, yes, obviously the loss of the relationship with that tiny child and what I was at that moment as a parent. Let's see how the sound on this amp. Loudness. Uh -uh, the loudness is too much in this amp, like the older models, too heavy. So you just play this thing without loudness, put some extra treble. Sharing service with thousands of vehicles to hire across the US, Canada and the UK. Plenty of drivers though need more than an occasional set of wheels. But now the insurance industry has also come up with its own pay-as-you-go concept. A UK firm... Clean, nice sound. Really nice sound. It is not that chubby, but Kenwood isn't that chubby sound as Marans have. But the sound is clear, honest, and uh, it has all the regions. It is complete, so it doesn't miss any bass, any treble or, or mids. It is just the complete sound. Just pay for 5,000 if you need to buy. Here we have the loudness button, okay? This one is because we're actually monitoring the way you drive. If you drive better than the average, you're actually getting a reduction in what those top at miles will cost you. Insurance is also an optional extra on another pay as you live service, dress hire, which is Vanouwe banden met haar thuis staat terwijl ze woont en lesgeeft in Sydney. In Australië heeft ze gestudeerd bij Eric Mitchell, Beryl Sidivka en Jeffrey Lancaster. En in Parijs bij Cécile Ousse en Yvonne Loriot. Anyway, the sound of this thing is perfect. It is a good sound. And uh, well, these things cost between 150 and 225 euro. That's the price you can pay for a Kenwood KR6050. The building quality is just well, this thing is black, black wood, yes, wooden sides, and it is finished with a plastic black. It's good looking, it's nice. I love this style. You have them in black or in the just wood color with a nerve. This thing really have everything you need as a setup in your living room. I want to end this video as how I started, and that's in the dark because this thing is most impressive when the light is on and when you see this thing in the dark it is very very nice and really i clean this thing behind the face glass as you can see everything is shining and it is look at those metal pieces on the tuner very very nice they shine so nice and i love those big power meters and signal and tuning me that beautiful and uh, as I started this movie in the dark I ended this movie in the dark I just want to say you thanks for watching please comment on my video if you have a comment please subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet and uh, well, for now I say bye bye